to answer some questions that people have uh, on this monitor. So first of all, it is a glossy finish and it is a QED OLED, this monitor. This is the revision two of this specific AOC um, OLED monitor. There was a previous generation and that was uh, a matte finish. So don't get them confused. So regarding what generation this is, I've seen a bunch of posts online and the most like definitive answer I've gotten is from Sarah Fuse on Reddit. He's saying this is a Gen 2.5 um, monitor. So it lands between Gen 2.5 and 3. Uh, it could very well be a 3, but I don't have any official confirmation on that. But looking at the specs, it's either of the two. This is not uh, like a Gen 1 panel. This has seen advancements from the uh, previous generation. I should also clarify that I'm beginning to believe that this is a Gen 3 panel uh, because it is a Samsung uh, panel. And basically from what I've read online, this is only AOC in name in terms of that. Uh, that is the outer shell, but the actual panel is coming from Samsung. So we should be benefiting from everything that they're uh, delivering. And obviously the OSD is uh, set up by uh, AOC, but the panel appears to be of quite high quality. So regarding the text, I would never recommend anyone to buy this for office work. Only get this monitor if you're using it for gaming or for movies. Um, content creation, I, I'm doubtful that you would benefit from this. There are like visible issues with the text with this QD OLED panel. So some suggestions that people could calibrate this with uh, software. But yeah, I would not get this for uh, any type of productivity work. So there was a question regarding dark boost. So let's see what that does. Okay. So it's just pricing up the panels. Let's go look at this dark area. So now it's off. Now it's on. So yeah, it's making a difference, I'd say. Level three. Level two, level one, zero, off. Now it's off. Looking around here, looking at the ceiling. Luminance. Dark boost. And again, this only works in SDR. As soon as I toggle the HDR, that disables that, and then you cannot tweak any of those settings. So I'm using the editor right now and I'm editing this video just to give some examples. Oh, I don't know what happened with the camera there. That was my fault. Let me just align this again. Make sure it's the sort of center. So I'm working through I'm working on this video. I'm playing through the timeline. I'm editing. When I'm playing it, uh, there's a bunch of flicker going on on screen, like you can see here. So I don't know if that's what you were specifically talking about with the uniformity. 
currently I am in SDR mode and I haven't observed this uh, when I was using HDR. So that might be what you're talking about. So there is a game mode setting depending on what game you're playing. Don't know if this was an, uh, available in HDR. I don't think it was. I think it was grayed out. Shadow control. Just up and down. Game color. Oh, you can turn it to black and white. That's cool. Now zero. Sniper scope is just this. I don't think I've ever seen this before, but I'm not sure why you would want to use it because it sort of makes it difficult. I guess unless you were playing some sort of game where you wanted to exploit it. Off. I'm gonna leave it after sync on. Frame counter is pretty nice. See the FPS in the uh, top right. Luminance is all of this. Let's go all the way down. So this is zero brightness. Let's get up to 90, which is like actually quite Okay, but I definitely felt that change in my eyes going up and down. Okay, so there is some kind of echo mode depending on what you're doing. Oh, but that, this just seems like uh, brightness presets. Gamma and HDR. Okay, so it has picture in picture, which is quite cool. You could potentially have two inputs. You could have another input up here. I don't think this is quite common for 1440p monitors. Not quite sure what you could use case you would have for this, but I guess if it's if you want to have some sort of movie on the side, you could have that. That's just still pretty cool. I noticed that I think I had G Sync on. Maybe it's because I switched the input or a picture in picture did something. So just some more color settings. I did look in the video what that was on. I, I don't remember now. Oh, so here's the uh, panel color gamut. Just stick that on panel native, which I don't know actually what that means. I guess that's just calibrated by them. Audio is just audio for that. Light effects. Oh, yeah, uh, for the background you have RGB. You 
can just add some yeah different things here and here's the OLED menu for pixel refresh and warnings and you can see it's uh, this was on zero the other day and it's uh, updated the uh, pixel refresh count to one since yesterday I think that does it for the OSD